Hello, hello, and welcome to a quick review of the previous multiplayer game. And uh, so our host has soon played Mexico, and we're actually we've done pretty pretty decently, I think, uh, 22 years in the game, so quite fine. For the I think we played for four hours, maybe a bit more. So it, it's okay, I think. So as you can see, Mexico is uh, now. Uh, a great power. He has a decent score, and I think he, yeah, he took some land from USA. Obviously, he won a Texan war, and did he actually? No, I, he didn't take anything from USA. I, think. I thought he did. Well, never mind. Never mind. So he has a population of 2.6 million, almost, and there are no other human players in the, in a, in actually whole America neither north nor south america so if you want to join the game i think brazil is a pretty decent choice colombia also might not be a bad choice you can easily take over venezuela and ecuador although you're in, there in a in a sphere of usa that might hurt their economy a bit but still they can do it quite nicely so that's it for America and uh, let's move to Europe. Here we have a uh, Guren played France I think. As you can see he expanded on Spain and also he got parts of Egypt and French Ethiopia is there. Um, so the Sokoto is under French control and uh, currently there is a war be between UK and the basically rest of the world. Um, it started because some people were angry about his decision to release Korea from Japan, which actually made Japan go down in Western Westernization. So as you can see, Japan is still uncivilized. So that's it for Kurin. And uh, then we have uh, we had a Prussian player in the beginning, and then um, there were some issues, I don't know, he didn't want to peace out, and then he started releasing things, I, I'm not completely sure what happened there, so we re-hosted and, the, and replaced, replaced the original Prussian player, so whoever plays Ru Prussia, he is not in a great spot at the moment. He lost the war against... Uh, against France and there is a French Rhineland Rhineland so there is no not going to be uh, NGF or Germany anytime soon if unless there is a big war between uh, France and and Russia on one side and Prussia on the other side but as you can see there is uh, Moravia and I think Bohemia being taken by by Prussia in the early days so Russia's economy should be blasting very soon. Also, we have Christian playing Scandinavia. He did quite a decent job uh, from Scandinavia pretty early. As you can see, Denmark is under his control. He didn't focus on on colonizing. Uh, he has Transvaal and uh, Zulu. But those are only two territories in um, in Africa. And they're being occupied uh, by Portugal at the moment. Also, I think he has a part of China, but we'll move to that later on. Then we have Seamouse playing Russia. Then nothing majorly important being done there. He occupied. I think that, that is only one territory from yeah from Austria, East Galicia. But that's it. Uh, here we have. I think he took Garcia from. Ottoman Empire and he expanded a bit on uh, Asia and here so nothing too important he has a population of 21 million um, France has population of uh, let me check 12 almost 13 million Russia is down in population though 6.33 actually since that is without Bavaria and the other G German minor states, so I think it's pretty nice. I'm not sure, the UK has 
UK is still the leading uh, great power, almost a million population, even without India, which is being re which is released, and uh, I think Australia, yeah, and Canada being released countries. So we have no Spain player, no Portugal player. Portugal player, if if uh, if someone wants to join the game, Portugal might not be a bad bad choice here, although they are currently in the war with with Russia and France and others. Uh, you can peace out, I think, uh, because France doesn't want anything from you. So we have Italy. Um, I think it's being played by Kebab. Um, started, of course, with Sardinia and then just just formed Italy. So they're still not a great power, as you can see. They, they're ranked 8, but they need to wait for a year to become great power. Population of 6 million and... Quite low industri industrial score, but it's still only 1858, so they can pick up. Of course, Austria is completely destroyed and split apart to Austria and Hungary being the independent countries. Um, let me check if... Actually, no. I don't even notice this, so Scandinavia actually expanded on Belgium. So that's why their industrial score is so high. Let me check. Industry... Yeah, Scandinavian Wallonia giving 70 points, so that explains it. Scandinavia actually has a pretty decent population, I think. Yeah, they have 7.31 million, so actually they have a larger population than Russia. Um, did they miss any pretty major great power in Europe? Or power. Okay, yes, as you can see, Russia expanded on Morocco also, and they're still fighting a war against uh, UK. And to be completely honest, uh, UK should be able to win this war. Uh, it's a war, let me show you. Okay, France acquired Nigeria, or oh, that is actually a part of Sokoto, I think. Yeah. British North Cameroon is actually the separate territory, so they won't, won't get it, I think. So anyway, what happened in this war is that the British fleet completely destroyed French and Prussian fleet, although Prussia didn't have too many, too many ships, so that's kind of expected. And now the French troops can't continue the mainland of England, and we'll see how that war ends up. It will be quite an interesting war if UK plays it right. So, mm, there was no Greece player, if you want to play Greece, I think I, you can do it quite well, because I'm gonna help you. Uh, I'm playing Serbia, also Romania might be might be playable quite soon, if someone wants to join. Um, so let's move to my country, Serbia, uh, as you can see we have 16 point, almost 7 million. That is because of China. Now we have Suez Canal, uh, we have some naval base in Katif and Majid. And then a few territories in Africa, nothing really serious. Uh, Fran France is going to expand probably this part of Africa and then Italy taking this. Something like that. Mexico will probably take a huge chunk of Africa also. So I'm not too, not too concerned about Africa, I don't really care, since we, we basically got what we wanted. Then we have India played by FTC. Oh, did I forgot to mention someone? Christian Marconi playing UK, uh, Simaus Russia. Was it Butters or Kebab played Italy? Or maybe that is the same guy, just with a different nick, I'm, I'm not sure. Russia, Russia, who, who replaced Russia? I'm not sure who subbed Russia, never mind. FTC playing in India, as you can see, he has a large population of 30, 35 million. And then, infamy quite high, but he's, he's getting his own course, so. Um, in your nation spot, I think you have Casus Belli on all of these countries. Or maybe you have to civilize. Uh, Actually, westernize and then you will get it. Well, anyway. 
So as you can see, Britain expanded on Burma. And I think, yeah, they, they took a part of Sam also. Um, Japan expanded on Borneo and uh, what is this called? Aceh? No, Aceh is here. Uh, so Johor, Johor, yeah. He has a gold province there, but it's being torn apart, apart by rebels, as you can see. Japan actually westernized, and then um, rebels pushed his reform back, and then he's he's uh, uncivilized again. I tried to help him, but simply he had. 300,000 rebels and uh, I didn't have enough armies to deal with them. So as you can see we have Serbia and China. Uh, quite luckily I managed to grab a few territories from China and there, there is Scandinavia also taking China. As you can see they have Southern Gili, so they have a lot of gold and Scandinavia is probably the richest country at the moment. Um, so that's basically it. Still, Dutch Asia, uh, Netherlands is qu quite strong at the moment. Even though they didn't annex Belgium, they're quite a playable country. And if you would like to join, you can. Uh, Netherlands is actually a pretty decent country. So there we go. Ottomans are being torn apart sometime soon. I'm gonna declare war on them get all of our cores here and uh, hopefully I will be able to form Yugoslavia and I hope that Italy won't take Dalmatia before we, we we get to form Yugoslavia because that would really fuck us up. So there there's few wars that are upcoming in Europe. Italy will most certainly declare war on Austria to get their own course and then uh, I'll have to fight Ottomans and Hungary for my course. Also, Prussia will probably have to fight France. I don't, I'm not sure if France is willing to let Prussia take Rhineland and Azak Lorraine for free. Probably not. Russia has their, their troops uh, placed on the border with uh, Prussia. I'm not sure why. But we'll see. So. There should be an interesting game if you want to join. I, I suggest you join as Netherlands or Portugal. If you want to play in America, then Brazil is playable. USA is in a bad shape, and they're only one and a half year until there is only one and a half year until the civil war starts. So that is a tough choice. They're still great power, of course, and quite decently ranked, actually, rank four. So, Brazil is of course a great choice in uh, South America, if I didn't mention, I probably did, but never mind. China is not a great choice at the moment. They lost two wars, they lost a few core provinces. And they're really in no position to, to win back the civilization. Well, let me check actually the civilization level, yeah, they're at 20%, but... They, they need to fight their minor states to, to be able to do anything. And as you can see, Queen Hai, uh, Mongolia and Manchuria. Manchuria is not actually in any sphere. So they can take Manchuria easily, but that's basically it. Um, in Europe, really, hmm, Austria is not playable because if you play Austria, you'll be completely destroyed by Italy, and later on, probably by me, actually by Serbia. Hungary, hmm. I, I'm not sure because I'm, I don't know what the Prussian plan is. If they, if they're willing to expand more on, uh, on Hungary, Hungary territories, let's see. Romania might not be a bad choice. Hmm. They can quite easily win a war against Hungary and then get their own course back. So that's it for this this review. And I might stream again tomorrow. I'll see how my PC can handle live stream. If I lag too much, then I won't stream. And maybe I will just record, but then it will be a long session. So I'll have to split it in parts. And that's it. 
Hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you tomorrow.